Welcome back, one and all, to the critically acclaimed FNG YouTube channel. Although I never actually specified what the reviewers are claiming the content to be. Critics are calling it fucking shit. The red cards usually tend to cause a lot of drama in the world of football. Whether it be a dangerous tackle, a deliberate handball, a dolphin rugby tackle in Emil Heskey. Don't ask questions about that one. <laughs> Or if you're Granite Xhaka every third game week of a Premier League season, then the chances are it's getting brandished with a red card. But today I thought we would react to some of the funniest, some of the most ridiculous red cards in football history. Now if you're going to enjoy the video, feel free to double foot the like button. You, you may not get away with that one actually, VAR probably required. 981% of you are currently not subscribed, so I'd really appreciate it if you hit that big red button. Let's get into this, you'll be able to check out the link for the original video down in the description below. Right, goal slapped in at close range here. Man in yellow and red has gone up to... I mean, look, listen, why, look. Like, I don't understand. You've scored a goal from like 0.7 yards out, might I add. And your first thought is, you know what, lads? Let me just put my head through this fucking glass pane. <laughs> you know what, Chris Wood at the back post, mate? You've already scored the goal. Big old number nine has been sent off here by the ref. I wonder what rule he's applying out of the FA's rule book to send this man off in this situation. Serious foul play, destroying stadium infrastructure. Like, if you go and now a seat out of the ground or you karate kick the VAR machine are you gonna get sent off for that as well I mean there's only really one way to find out 10,000 likes and I'll film myself going to a Premier League ground and karate kicking a VAR right what we got here this looks like Neymar going through on goal back in Brazil he loops it over the keeper I think he celebrated with a face mask of himself here someone's not happy referee's not pleased he's got a yellow card and then he's thrown the mask on the floor and got I don't know I didn't know this this happened I don't know really why he's been sent off here. he's got two yellows as well so he got a yellow for wearing the mask and then another yellow for like descent for throwing it on the floor. Nobody's ever I don't think you've ever got a, a yellow card because I probably ain't used to dress as Spider-Man. Alright, so what we got next up? Ivorian Don just runs straight into Kaka. I mean, yeah, fair enough. Elbow to the face, mate. It was as clear as day. He's actually red card. Oh, he's actually red carded Kaka. Whoever that was, whatever competition this is in, Javinho's chilling here, by the way, as well. This is giving me Confederations Cup vibes here. So it doesn't mean anything, in fairness, but but look where the hole goes. That is what we like to call African acting. A little bit of Nollywood, if you will. <laughs> Brazil playing again here. This is this is just their B team. Uh, don't be fooled by the quite evidently AstroTurf pitch. Uh, the lack of stands behind. The fact that this man probably consumed a tuna sandwich 15 minutes before the clip was taken. Right, okay. So he's got he's been given a yellow card. This okay. I mean, wow. If I'm gonna be honest with you, yeah, probably asking for for more serious action here. You can't really just run down the ref. For anyone who's wondering, if you've just got into to the game you know you've just started your footballing career you're, you're playing in your local under sixes if you're playing in the under sixes you should not be watching this youtube channel give back the parental control password right now what was he expecting to happen he's already got the red card out now the coach is on it as well now we're just out of control there's a man from the army does this happen regularly in whatever league this is do they have to get an army official involved just in case it kicks off to be fair this is giving me south american football vibes which to all intents and purposes is probably more dangerous than any front line of any war in history. Don's got a second yellow card. He's sprinted off already. Ah, he's sprinting off. Man's fully screaming and running off the pitch. Why are you running? You can't get sent off and start screaming like you're in a FIFA pack rage compilation video. That's not what we're going to do. What are we saying? I think we're in Scandinavia somewhere. The goalkeeper's put it on the floor, not realised there's a guy right behind him, and then just wrestled him down. You Again. <laughs> Imagine, imagine going to work. Imagine getting on the team bus, yeah. Or like you're in the changing room before the game starts. The manager's pumping everybody up. Harry Kane's got some words of wisdom in before you go out. Minute one, we press, we, we aggressive, fucking chances go. The tension's building, the stadium roars as the two teams enter the field. And then three minutes in, you do that. Did anyone ever see this goalkeeper again? Right, where are we headed? I mean, that's, I mean, look, listen, I'm just gonna pause that right 
right there. Probably within about half a second of that clip, could probably work out why he's been red carded there. You can't just go and knock somebody out. Yeah, that's outrageous. What kicks off after that? Contrails trying to stop the referee from red carding him. Flip it. Yo! Man just comes in and grabs the red card off the referee. That is, that's the biggest disrespect. Big up, yeah, my guy. You you have to red card this guy as well. That can't run. You're, you're crying. And what? I don't care. And what? Who are you? How are you going to take the card off the referee? That's also just the dumbest thing. I think that's one of the stupidest red cards I've ever seen. Because what, like, what are you thinking is going to come from that situation? <laughs> nah, that's outrageous. Pam Percy, just come on, man. That's a handball and serious foul play at the same time. This is a double red card. This is a crimson card. Right, ball in towards the back stick, headed in, and oh, clearly not headed. Khan's been eyes punched in. <laughs> He's a nutcase, bro. How are you got? How do you even think you're gonna get away with that? You're the goalkeeper as well. You have gloves on. It's pretty obvious if you punch it in. Here we go again. Dribble coming in. He's gone down as if he's been shot there. Oh, he's actually. Oh, he sent off the defender. The defender's gone crazy. In fairness to the guy in green, it's not. It's not a red card. He's literally not touched that man, and he's acting as if he's on the end of a Robin Van Persie shoulder barge. But KOing the referee is not going to get the red card overturned. Ball across. The flick has been missed. Another random ball has been thrown onto the pitch here. And the referee's uh, he sent off the ball, boy. He sent off the, the, the child. His job is to remove the balls from the pitch. And he's added one. To the, I understand the fundamental error in his job there. But he's, he's nine. <laughs> So he's throwing the ball back onto the pitch to prevent any further attack from happening. Obviously, he's like, he's a ball boy. The home side are clearly defending in that situation. And he's thrown a ball onto the pitch to try and ensure the game is stopped because there's one extra one there. That's impressive. Where does a red carded ball boy even go? Do they have to watch the game with their dad in the stands or... I don't know what's going on here. Is that the, the linesman's been sent off. The linesman threw up and got red carded. I mean, yeah, I mean, no, to be fair, I, I would do the same actually. Offsides? Don't care, mate. Let the fourth official do it. He'll just put it up on his board as to whether it's actually off or on. Right, Ronaldinho free kick for Milan. He's just take, He's just taken a free kick and been sent off. Oh no, he meant a yellow card. Right, okay. For a second, I, I, don't, I don't even know what he did in the first place. Why has he even been booked? He, all he's done is take a free kick. Did he take it too early? Ah, uh, yeah. This wouldn't be complete without ye olde Zidane head, but I just find it so peak, man. Like, the way this should have been remembered was it's Zidane's final ever game. Shit booth on, like, five minutes in. But instead, it's because he violently attacked Matarazzi. Moral of the story, if someone cusses out your mum, headbutt them. I'm not gonna change history. I'd have done the same thing as in the D. Right, what's kicking off here? We've got a referee's dropped his red card on the floor. <laughs> Can you even be off? This is what I'm saying, man. Referees need to have a sense of humor. So you've dropped your red card on the floor. Don's picked it up and red carded you. It's a joke. Unless he was already getting sent off. He might have been the one that did whatever injustice had happened. In which case, yeah, send him off. Give him an extra a yellow card. Give him a red card and a half. Right, and then we've got over in Africa. Yeah, again, look, listen. This can't run. You can't attack the ref. The ref's gone back at him. Oh my goodness me, this is the, this is the plot twist of the century. And he said, you know what? <laughs> listen, I might, be a, I might be a trained official. I'm trained in jujitsu as well. Let me just slap you about real quick and red card you again. Lino's getting involved as well. Don who's dealing with the VARs, put the remote down. He's come out swinging as well. Let me know in the comment section who would win a scrap between 11 footballers and 11 referees. That's your homework for today. But that is, I think that's going to wrap up the craziest red cards in football. I hope you have enjoyed. There were some raucous ones in there. I think my favourite has got to be Oliver Kahn being a goalkeeper and punching the ball into the opposition net from a last minute corner. The two-handed hand of God didn't work. But instead of doing that, use two hands to press like on this video and subscribe subscribe as well. Actually, I'll tell you what you could do. You could you could press the like button with one hand and then subscribe with the other hand so that you're doing both at the same time. You can also follow me on social media though. It is at the official FNG on Twitter and on Insta. It's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye.